Hi, this is Jonathan Stevens, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to run 3D Gaussian Splats using the Nerf Studio Viewer so you can make those really cool animated fly arounds of your 3D Gaussian splatting scene. Now let's get to it. Okay, the first thing you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to pull the code from GitHub from this fork project that has all the Git, uh, all the Nerf Studio um, backend that you need, and I don't want to mess up the current Nerf Studio um, setup that I have. So I'm just going to go to where I have that Nerf Studio um, project that I've already built. And um, let's see if I can go by name. And I'm just going to rename this to like backup. Um, I, as you can see, I've actually already done this once. But that way, when I pull my GitHub, I'm not like updating the current one. I don't want to mess up anything. Just push that in a backup. You can still use that. Um, you just got a path in that folder, but here we are. And then we want to go back to the project page, which I'll link in this video uh, in the description notes as well, of course. And uh, from here, we just kind of follow the directions. And to most people, if you don't do command, you don't get all that, you might be a little lost. But at this point, I'm assuming two things. One, that you guys have used Nerf Studio. And two, you've used 3D Gaussian Splatting. If you have not used 3D Gaussian Splatting, watch my video on how to get started with that. If you don't know how to use Nerf Studio, if you've never done that, you're gonna probably have to go through the details here. Put in the comments if you want me to make a video on how to get Nerf Studio installed. I'm gonna show you actually while we do this as well, it's in this process. Um, so here we go. So the first thing you need to do is we need to basically pull the GitHub code from here. And again, I'm just gonna bring up your command prompt. Uh, all this stuff requires that. So we're gonna bring up command prompt like so. I'll make this all big like so. And again, you see I'm in my C users Jonathan folder. That's where all the data will end up. Um, and then I'm gonna put in my, um, I'll make sure I have a link to how to get the, like my fork of this project to get started. I'll make sure I put these detailed instructions in there because they're not quite clear in here. Um, they say you need a pip install and all this, but first, before you can get to that, you need to clone the branch with all the, the Nerf Studio viewer extra goodies. And so, I just copied and pasted it, but it's git clone slash b. So I'm like cloning a branch of Gaussian splatting, recursive. Uh, you guys don't need to know what all this means. I just need to, I'll have it so you can copy it out of the notes. But then here's the branch git. So if I do that, it's going to start cloning, which is great. And if I go to like my, my files, you'll notice that it creates a new file called Nerf Studio here at the bottom. You probably can't see it. It's probably really small on your screen. But that's why I had you back up the old one. I don't want you to like pull all the information into a current folder you already had. Um, so if I could just go back to here, this doesn't take very long. Bam, it's done. That's how quick it is. So now I've pulled all that data. It looks just like Nerf Studio, except for now they have these sub modules and just like a couple little uh, different things. And again, this isn't this isn't something you can use in like commercially right now. This is still all got to be aware that there is some licensing around 3D Gaussian splatting. Um, but now. Uh, now we want to go and activate our Nerf Studio um, Conda environment. So you should have already known how to do this. If, if you have not, then you might need to go read the instructions for uh, Nerf Studio. Um, and so, okay, let's go back to the instructions that they provide. I'll make sure I have a clear page for my instructions because they're a little bit more descriptive. But they say, okay, install Nerf Studio dependencies. Um, I've already done that. So you basically just, that's why I went and used my Nerf Studio Conda environment. The dependencies are in there. Shortcut. Okay, so next up, um, sorry about all this. We're going to go here and it's going to say uh, pip install this. So we're going to copy and paste that into a command. I've already done it, but I'll show you how to do it. Just simple like that. It says already required or satisfy those requirements. Bam, magic. But it'll probably take about that long anyways. Uh, and then I got to install the sub modules. So, okay, if you just saw my screen jump, that's because I skipped a step and I was troubleshooting while making this video. Um, but let me go back. Uh, but what I almost skipped in this is that we gotta make sure we change directory into that new Nerf Studio uh, folder. So CD Nerf Studio. I totally skipped that when doing this. So what happens when I do these live or these, these tutorials. So make sure you're in there. And just for a reminder, now you don't see everything I just put in there, but um, what I was doing was, if you go here, I pipped installed this, but then I forgot to like change directory to go into here. So we gotta make sure we change directory to pip install this. So I'm gonna hit 
control copy and then bring this up and paste and make this big but it's saying hey we're going to use a pip installer which is like a program that installs these modules for us tell it to install where it is but because i hadn't pathed in their studio it was looking for folders that didn't exist so let me just hit enter and it should just run if you've again if you guys have installed 3d gauge and splatting already this should just work first time um, so here it goes it's gonna build it okay and so that's finished and now i just gonna go copy the second one uh let's go to here like so the simple k and n bam this part is all easy guys nothing's tough about doing this just can be scary when you have to touch this black screen here with all this white code. So now it's going to go again. I'll probably fast forward this again. We'll see when it's done. Okay, now it's done. The next thing I need to do is not list it in the directions. I'm going to install in our studio because I got it all on here now. And I pulled that branch, but it's not installed here. So um, uh, just again, I'm going to put this in my instructions. It's pip install E period like that. Super ends easy. Hit enter. And now it's going to install Nerf Studio. And <laughs> guys, that's how you build Nerf Studio. The only thing you need to do is the dependencies, which they also list on their web page. All this stuff is simple. If you follow these kind of simple command prompts. So this is going to do a bunch of cascading stuff. And it's just about done, actually. Successfully installed. And look, it says it's uninstalled and reinstalled it because I already had it installed. So here we go. So now we have Nerf Studio installed. We're all good to go. Um, the, the last thing we need to do here uh, is take a model that we've already made and launch the viewer with it. So uh, this part's super fun and easy. Um, he says in here, viewer. So we got this command, Python, Nerf Studio scripts, Gaussian's plane. You've got this run this this viewer and then model path. So we're just gonna copy up to that part. We're not gonna copy the Gaussian training output model. So bam, like so. And then I'm gonna hit a space. And then I'm gonna go find uh, a model that I, ma I made. So um, let's see, I'm gonna just pick a random, not a random one, but my output. Um, because I'm a sucker, I'm gonna do one myself. So again, I'm just gonna go to this model, just like you were using this, that, that SIB reviewer, that SIBR viewer thing. Uh, just gonna copy that location, gonna paste it in there, and then cross your fingers you did everything right, which I know you did, because you watched this, and it'll all load in to the new viewer. So bam. Okay, so there it is. Uh, I just hold control and hit this, or you can copy and paste this into your browser. There it is, super simple. Uh, again, everything's gonna be sideways. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go to the scene, hit reset up direction, and that should fix the up direction. Look, see now I'm up. And then you also got all this like funky stuff in your view. I just turned that off the scene. So now I'm just looking at the scene. The last thing you need to do is go to render controls, controls and go to max res and push that all the way up. So now you're looking at it at, at a higher resolution. And there you go. So it's not as fast as the SIB reviewer. So you're just gonna have to deal with that. But I think that's cool because um, you still get to then build your animations. So again, we're gonna build a quick animation because I wanna show you guys how this has done. I've had it freeze and guess what? I think I just froze it. Okay, so I'm gonna quit this, it froze. So I'm just gonna relaunch that and see what happens. Okay, so I've launched it. Now you can hit this control copy or control, control click, um, there's the scene. Um, it again, it's sideways. So I'm gonna go and I'm going to uh, reset the up direction. So now that's up, which is great. Um, and then I'm gonna start just building my animation in here. Uh, again, oh yeah, you gotta change your max resolution up. If you don't care about like seeing this in full scale, you can just like leave it low. There's no reason why. I'll just do that and make it a little faster. Um, and then I'm gonna go to render. And I'm just gonna add a camera. I'm assuming you guys know what that you're doing here. I'm actually not the best at this in this program. Here, let's add these. I'll just kind of get like this cool view. Add camera, like so, add camera. Okay, now the last thing I need to do, so I got my cameras there, and it looks like it's not updating the scene for some reason, um, is uh, I need to then, um, I need to render this. And I think some of this stuff is broken at this point. So I'm gonna export this path and then um, I'm gonna have this render. See, it's gonna give you the script that doesn't make sense. So don't worry about using that. I might just copy that path out. Don't worry about giving it an export name. We're gonna show you how to do that. So I'm gonna close the viewer. Bam. Um, I'm gonna stop training this. 
I'm going to go to his instructions again. Right here, it says to render. So it says Python. Just copy this first path. Super easy. Copy. You're going to put back, go back to this black screen, get really big here. You're going to paste it. And so it's basically saying pull this Python script called render.py. We're going to use the camera path function. And then a um, little tip. When you see like these paths, it's just saying, hey, you don't copy this thing. It just means, hey, that it just this keeps going to the next line. So again, we're going to do this model path. And then space, and then that that the model it says the model path. So like, where was that model? So I'm going to pick the model from where I like loaded it at the start. Then then it says camera path file name, copy, um, paste. Uh, oh, I may have put an extra space in there. I did. Uh, now I I had downloaded a that file. I'm just gonna into my downloads, I'm going to copy and paste it into this output model place just because I think it'd be great. And I'm going to call it animation. You can call it whatever you want. Call it bananas. So, uh, and then I'm just going to right click, hit say copy as path. Paste, super simple. Now I go back to our instructions. Output path, your output path MP4 file. So uh, output path, I don't know how I end up with all these extra spaces. And then I'm going to put that, that put path. Um, I'm going to go back to where, okay, again, I'm going to put Paul in this model file. Why not? So I'm going to copy again, paste that model file, but then add another backspace and call it, it was just a selfie of myself, self, selfie.mp4. Um, one thing I messed up, I didn't necessarily mess up, but when I was saving it out of the viewer, I did not change the length or duration. Make sure you change like those durations and frame rate and all that first, then export your camera path. Okay, so we go here, hit enter, and it should render out a video for me. And it's gonna be four seconds long, so that's fine. It goes really fast. You're gonna like my 3090 Ti, it's gonna get about nine to 10 frames per second, which is really fast. So like half, real-time resolution rendering. So now we go, okay, I'm getting about nine almost. Um, okay, so it took me 12 seconds to do a four second video. So three X time. So here we go, selfie. There it is. Super simple. Um, again, that wasn't rendered at 4K. So just, I didn't train the data at 4K either. So that's fine. Um, you can do 1920 by 1080 and that would look really good if I can play that again smaller or if it's gonna make there we go so it looks way better when I have it smaller because it wasn't really that big so there you go that is how you use the Nerf Studio Viewer have fun with it comment um comment on this video if you have problems I don't know if the guy's gonna be answering a bunch of stuff on his on his github fork or not I will also in my own fork which I'll put in the show notes here um that you can also ask questions because I'll put all these instructions on my github fork hopefully this weekend all right, see you guys in the next video, and I look forward to diving into this even more. Follow me if you like this, and I'll have tons of content around this. Thanks for watching.